and the lower, this will be uh, the finishing um, wire and the staff has already untied everything for me and um, we will make a list of things to do which uh, we'll look at the marginal ridges. We'll, we've got uh, 232 here is rotated mesial. It started out straight but because the bracket was off center, was placed off center is rotated mesial. We do have a, a distal rotation on 3-1 uh, but that is a over correction of the mesial rotation at the start. Uh, if I look through the rotations uh, on the on the starting model, comparing tooth by tooth, we have a full or overcorrection of all the teeth, except for this uh, this this tooth three two. I have like a mirror, the big mirror, please. And then I see a marginal ridge discrepancy right here between the six and the five. This was a bicuspid extraction case. So I'd like to fix that. So let's take a look at the uh, at the rotation on two, three, two. We can see the the bracket off center. Your finger. Okay. Right. So we can. The normal way would be to like reposition the bracket more easily. There have been attempts to like bend out here and in on the other side. So there's already been an attempt to make a uh, to make a like, finishing bend like intraoral on that. And so I'm going to make another, I'm going to accentuate that outside of the mouth. That should always be on the outside. And then we'll also hold it reposition the bracket more easily. Um, I also see that this edge is down a little bit compared to this one. So I'm going to like, step up. I'm going to do more mesial root tip onto the 3 1. It kind of catches my eye. Okay, so large marking pencil, please. So you make a list of what you want to do. And then I'm going to make a mark here, here, and here. Remove the wire. Oh, I forgot. I need to step up uh, uh, two, four, four, five. And it looks like we need to convert the bracket into uh, the sixes. That's why we have a hard time getting the wire out. So maybe there's been a little bend made between the six and seven. And if you look, we have a little like distortion of the arch form as well. This is uh, this is from making intraoral finishing bends, uh, second order bends in the mouth. And the wire uh, is definitely distorted. It's the arch form. So we have to correct that. This is uh, a perfect example of why not to make second order bends in the mouth. But that's why I move the wire and make second order bends. You only step in, step in, step out, step up, or step down with control bends. You cannot make second order bends, rotation bends. Four years to the arch. Okay, so. Do you have a like, white piece of paper? Mark by. Uh, Let's see. Okay, so here's our here's our marks. This tooth's already been stepped up before, so I'm going to just add to the bend. Step up, 
I move the choir. Step down. Step down. And then back to the original plane. So I have an, enlarged that band. This is our step up band, which is, there was already one there, now I made it larger. And that's a, that's a very large band right now. But in the mouth, it'll only be, it'll be about, about three quarters of a millimeter. And then on this one, we wanted to step up the mesial. This is at the midline, step up the mesial. Second order bend, that's too much. Take all that out. Okay, a little bump like that. And then back to the original plane. And then, so here's our, here's our second order bend now for the, for the two, three, one. And I'll make a second order bend. Two, three, two, out mesial. We're also going to reposition the bracket because we want to get done with this case. So we're going to make a an out bend on the mesial. And then it back out. So there's our step out on the mesial into the three, two. Okay, now I have to fix the arch form. longer than the other. Um, open up just a little bit for me. This one is uh, is uh, shorter than this one. Part of it is the uh, is the shape of the cuff fit. Um, and as she bites down, go ahead and bite down. Uh, it's in occlusion, so we're going to step this one up instead of stepping that one down. This is 18 by 25 night tie wire. It's already been in place for several months. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to like place the plier. I have the two ends. I'm going to place it on the mesial, and on the mesial, I want to I want to step up the mesial. So I'm going to place it on here. I'm going to push it all the way to the bottom so that I'm not on the tip, and then I'm going to confirm, looking at the other side of the plier, that this in fact like steps up the Choir, and then I'm just going to squeeze all the way down. This is a half millimeter part, all the way down. It's not a little bit, and you can see the step band there.